calling all the lovers out there tonight. Where would I be without weights and pleasures? Where would I be without weights and pleasures? Where would I be without weights and pleasures? Hey guys, we have a special guest too. I wonder if it's been recording this whole time. It has not been recording. No, this whole time. it just said Edson is recording the call. Got that it. lovely voice you hear in the background is uh, our very special guest, Miss Nancy. Welcome to the show, Nancy. Yay! What's up? <laughs> Since I get talked about all the time, I figured I better um, defend myself just a tad. Right. Well, we're not. Gonna, yeah. We're not going to. Well, I am anti, you know, I, I, I do not believe in Jesus Christ is what you guys told people. So <laughs> I need to make sure That's I defend right. myself. We, we did yeah. say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, say, I have to defend myself on how much protein I take in because he's got me down for like 300 and something. <laughs> <laughs> how many grams of protein do you take for real? 190 a day. Yeah, that's a lot still. It's still might as well but, be 300,000 no. grams. That's what I'm but saying. I'm doing, but I'm doing it for a reason. Because I'm building us. muscle. Oh, you're building. Yeah, me and Ed yeah, are just. If I wasn't muscle. building muscle, then yeah. I'd only do it. I'd only eat protein. You're only supposed to eat the protein for what your body weight is. Right. Fred, how many calories do you eat? How many? How much protein do you eat? Uh, I'm about uh, 210, 220. 220. Yes, yeah, I can't eat that much, man. 220. Yeah, I've been I've been doing this. Um, well, day three or day two, the the carnivore diet. Oh, you! Oh, you stopped doing. Oh, are work? you are really doing that thing that they had on the doctors where the guy they fought that guy so hard? I don't even. I don't even <laughs> see are. it. I just, I just saw you it on, on this other you thing, are. and it's been popping up everywhere. But it's basically the same thing as a vertical diet. It's just I'm just cutting out my carbs right now because I got to go weigh in tomorrow. Oh. So lately, I've just been eating just all meat except for a little bit of spinach and some yogurt in the morning. And then you drink a that, gallon of water a day. Just about. Yeah. How about ice soap here? And then no, I here. No, you gotta cool out. I, I heard you. Try, what did you say? You down like three of them at a time? What? Because you're they were expiring. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> I was slamming them. I no, had like that. I had like three days left, and I had like two cases left. Right. So I don't know what we can say on here, but so how bad did you shit yourself? Because that's what happens with protein when you. Yeah, it was. It, it was bad. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> It was bad. It That's how you good. get rid of protein. If you yeah. want a if you want a bad combination, dude, it's a bunch of hot food and a bunch of protein, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Right>. nice. <laughs> Did you guys work out already today? Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. We all yeah we're we're like the 10 a.m. crowd. I'm get, I'm start I'm a I'm, uh, you know I've been really pissing off the front desk lady, dude. <laughs> You know, she's listening today. Just be aware. Yeah, because I told her. <laughs> I know. That. She's like, oh, I can't wait. You're going to be on. I'm like, you know, at first, whatever. You know, you know that, Fed, you know the gradual progression with me, dude, with people. I mean, you're the only one pretty much in Nancy in my life who, like, you know, you're always excited to see me, dude. Like, these other people do, like, at first they're excited. Once they get to know me, they're like, this is a <laughs> rotten motherfucker right here, dude. Oh. And they're like, they're starting to realize, oh, dude, this guy's, like, really bad. Oh, did you tell <laughs> Why does she... No, 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 I explain the story, dude. Oh. It's like, so we were there on Saturday. Nancy and I were getting our our our, our lift in because we we lift religiously. We're not seven day weekers, but we're a good six for lifting. Mm-hmm. I was doing some cardio. I got done. I'm go down there and I finishing up like the machines, you know. Mm-hmm. And they have an aerobics class, and the aerobics class is. It's usually fine. During the week, I can deal with it. They're not that loud, but the aerobics instructor on Saturday is a different teacher. Okay? Mm-hmm. And, dude, I think, in my opinion, dude, I'm going to say this, and I don't care what anybody <laughs> says, dude, because it's fucked up, dude. But, like, in my opinion, dude, everyone's afraid of her because she's a minority, dude. So they don't want to say, turn down your headphones. <laughs> That's not... What else? And I think that, and How I think it's the truth, it? dude, because, because anybody else, dude, they would be like, dude, can you, like, turn down your headphones? So I, I went to the the person right in the front desk, you know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Hey, like this, you can't hear how bad it sounds. Like it's over my headphones. And she's like, she's got her, like when you put your hand over your mouth and you go, you know, and like they're screaming and it cuts through your headphones and it's, it's obnoxious. It's not to a point where it's like, ha ha. The teacher's like in the background being loud. It's not even funny. 
And uh-huh. like I never, I have never complained about anything at that gym. It could smell like shit. Uh, there could be all sorts of problems, dude. Retarded people stealing, stealing, whatever, <laughs> dude. Like I'm, I, I don't have any kind of problems, dude. Like, so I, there, but I address it. I address the problem. What is there not a certain room for them to go to? They have fed. Fed. Is it just Fed, wide listen, open? I think Fed, I asked you this already. Listen to this, dude. Listen to this. They got four basketball courts, right? Mm-hmm. They could go in the very, very far basketball basketball court, separated by a whole basketball court, mm-hmm. all right, and a whole baseball field. They can go in, deep in the corner, right. or they can go upstairs into two different aerobic rooms. There's that plenty of room, okay? But they put the aerobics class right next to the weights. Oh, that's bad. Right. And so I, I ask her, I'm like, yeah, is there? She's like, it's not that bad. Right, then the door opens, dude, and it's like, girl, it's like, oh, girl, come on, girls, move it. And it's like, it's awful, right? She's like, <laughs> she's like, oh, that is bad. And then she just like gives me like a look. She's like, what do you want me to do about it, Cyrus? <laughs> and I told her, dude, like, all right, dude, the rest of my life, dude, you, you're gonna hear it from me because I'm going to put my hand over my mouth now every time I see people with you, and that's how I'm talking to you from now on. And she thought on Saturday that it was cute. And like I was joking, and like, oh, it's a Cyrus, dude. But like <laughs> by yesterday, dude, she gave me the most disgusted look, dude. I never seen. It. And she knows I love her, dude. She's hella cool, bro. I'm uh-huh. not saying it insulting ways, dude. I'm saying it like amongst friends. You know, understand what I'm saying? And she's like, what do you want me to do? But I'm like, well, maybe like you can like move the class like into the back. <laughs> <laughs> but is she is she in charge of that? Can't she do that? I don't think she's in charge of anything, really. Just like, check people in. She just does the best. Job. She's in charge of coaching, dude, and she's like the best coach you can get. So, coaching. like, you want she Is coaches she... my daughter in basketball. Oh, she's a basketball girl. Yeah, dude, she's yeah. dope. She's dope, dude. Oh, like, okay. She's a dope person, dude. But like, I, I think this is. I don't think she's confrontational. So you think she hates you, though? Oh, she's definitely. I don't think she hates me, but she, she doesn't definitely, hate you. But she's more disgusted when she sees me. You understand? <laughs> she's not disgusted. I swear, you put your. <laughs> Ah, oh, it drives me nuts. This whole like, ogre thing. I'm Shrek. I'm Shrek. Every time he's in the damn gym. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Shrek. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Size thirteen shoes, dude. Oh my god. Did you, you didn't tell him the other story? From which one? You, I, I, I I'm your the... now your gym wife. Oh yeah, somebody, somebody went up to Nancy and's like, <laughs> said they were, thought we were together, dude. No, he goes, you're 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 Cyrus's woman, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Obviously, obviously, oh, he okay. doesn't listen to the show, dude, because he real, would realize I don't date people from my gym, dude. Right, I know. And Nancy's, and Nancy's married, by the way, yes. to a very, a very handsome man. Yes. Does your husband work out, Nancy? Yes, he's a racquetball fiend. He just can't stop that. He's built like a shit house, bro. He's all muscle. Not built. He's, he's... <laughs> he is all muscle. You don't think he's all? Mu- you don't. You see him every day, Nance. He is muscle. You're right, but he's not one of those roid dude. He's never. <laughs> no, but he's not lean. like that. He's lean. He's lean, and you, yeah. you could pop if he wanted to. He could throw a punch, dude. But I don't think he. Yeah, likes... but no, my husband's non-confrontational. So. Oh, that's a good no. guy. Yeah, I'm but he's, yeah, he's yeah. one of those. Me, on the other hand, fed to nine. All different story. <laughs> yeah, you could tell Nancy's the one who like opens her mouth when they drink and gets. Oh, he's like, oh man, I'm gonna have to fight. And then Nancy fights. <laughs> no, it's not him fighting. It's me. Is he right? right. Or Nancy's, <laughs> gonna, Nancy's gonna hit this guy. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Early night. <laughs> and so uh... Nancy runs all the way up to me, and she's like, See, "This guy thinks we're together." So... I didn't do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I pranced for you. I said, "Hi, honey." <laughs> Apparently, well, we're we had together. A really, we had a good laugh. Hey, Fed, what are we doing on Saturday, dude? Tell everybody. We are. Well, are you coming tomorrow for sure? I'm coming tomorrow for sure. But these people from the other wrestling organization, from the Midget Wrestling, they haven't called me back. So I'm excited. We're going to go to Extreme Midget Wrestling tomorrow night. The, and I extreme, think, I think we're extreme, going to bring Buddy, and he'll be our Andre the Giant. The Extreme Midget Wrestling, there's no tickets anywhere, dude. Yeah, you can buy them at the door. It's not going to sell out? I don't know. They, it says it gets pretty crazy, but right. I'd imagine Midget Wrestling sells out. <laughs> I would think so. I yeah, that would be the headliner. <laughs> I would. I would think so. I would think so. And then Saturday we have uh, another wrestling event for uh, uh, it's to beat cancer. It's a little little event that they're doing um, at the flea market. So that's going to be in the outside, in the open air. I think it's like during the day too. I think it starts at twelve. But the lady said that we can get there at ten. You guys have good oh. weather. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. Sacramento always has good weather. Yeah, today's going to be like 65 out here. It's like perfect. Oh, Lily's going to be happy to come down there and I bet. enjoy the yeah, She's yeah. excited. Excited. What about Lola? Yeah, they're both excited to see their real aunt, Auntie Sarah. Not, yeah. no, not no fake sister of mine, dude, pre- 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 <laughs> pretending to be oh. a good sister. Can I get some salsa on the way home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good call, Nancy. Yeah. That's a good call. <laughs> Now he's now she have to add on to Sarah's plate. I remembered. Right? I remembered. You did. Now I have to ask Sarah to do it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's just some hot salsa, Nancy. It, I don't think it's that hot. Fan. What? It's not I, don't think, I mean, there's sometimes it's hotter than others, but it's very good. I love it. Fed. It, it's it's been, spicy. You know, like I said, it's been, you know, my grandparents made it and my mom. Took it over, and then she she taught my my wife how to do it, and my wife kind of makes her own twist to it too. So, yeah. cowboy brand salsa, baby, very good. I love it. I can't eat it because I can't eat any carbs. So, the yeah. salsa have carbs in it? Well, the chips, man. Yeah, but you, you gotta can put get the those sauce on other things. Please do the yeah. keto free chips, bro. Put it on your chicken breast. Keto chips, yeah, you. or that, or just put it on my eggs. Yeah. Ooh, eggs. That's yeah, so I never had any of it on my eggs, bro. Probably pretty good. I usually don't do it either. I usually so Fed and I will be out there in Sacramento. We'll be barbecuing. I, don't, I doubt we have anybody in Sacramento who wants to come out, dude. But uh, if you guys want to come out, we'll be barbecuing hot dogs, giving away uh, some Weights of Pleasure Lavender, uh, uh, La- Pacific Lavender Hive, uh, Lavender Bath Bombs, dude. And uh, So bring your old ladies out. Bring your kids to get the hot dog. Maybe have some stickers. It'll be a good time. Are we going to do this in the parking lot? Because I don't think we're going to be able to do it in the... Oh, I'm def- we're not going to be able to do it inside the flea market on Saturday. I will. I'll, I'll buy... I'll literally buy a barbecue grill inside the flea market. <laughs> Wait to pleasures. Go ahead. You're on line yeah, one. Line right. one. We got to start doing that next. Taking a, Who's that? Taking, it was the Apple store. Who's you see, is that? This is what happens when Gabe's not here. <laughs> Gabe shuts everything down first for me. <laughs> You know, I got a bone. I, I got a. Isn't that that's the bank? They want their money from you. <laughs> like, uh, is this Mister uh, Edson? Mister yeah. Fitz? <laughs> hey, I heard you all uh, were on weights and plays. You're just kind of making a good living now, right? <laughs> yeah, but uh, so you're not going to come to the XFL game though next no, Sunday, right? No, it's I'm gonna, uh, Amelia. Nancy's birthday. gonna Nancy's gonna come with me then. That's nice. How far what? is it driving from you? <laughs> she noticed I didn't even tell her. Oh, you <laughs> what am I doing? I thought you already told her. <laughs> what am I doing? We're going to a football game next Sunday in Seattle. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Saturday. You talked about it already. Yeah. <laughs> Can Tim meet us? Yeah, he probably could. That's exactly where I do. I'm such. A, I'm keeping the family together. Weights and pleasures. Yeah, you're kidding. I haven't seen him. And. <laughs> In a week and a half, and you're but, gonna and then we'll go to, talk about a cock blocker. <laughs> and then we'll go to Seattle, dude. We could go into a gym and like videotape the gym. Perfect. Like, there, yeah. Yeah. What, I'll, uh, I'll, how far? How far is the drive? It's probably gonna be at least like twelve hours. Seven right? hours. Seven hours. Seven hours. Seven. Okay, seven. Which that is bad. yeah, it's nothing for but for a pleasure maniac, dude. Yeah, that's nothing because we'll Super. stop at some supplement stores on the way, we'll pass see. out some stickers. Hey, you already put me. I gotta see my schedule. <laughs> well, if you guys flake, I'm gonna bring my kids then, dude. I'm, I guess I'm the only one dedicated to the oh, show. But I, I believe in myself. It's my kid's birthday. Yeah. Hey, your, your kid's gonna have a th- hundred birthdays, dude. There's gonna oh. be one opening XFL game in Seattle. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> and it's not. Oh, it is opening day, huh? Yeah, for Seattle. It is. Yeah, you're right. Because this week I think they're playing in St. Louis. And we ain't going to St. Louis, bro. Nah. <laughs> the following weekend they're playing Dallas. I believe. Are they? The Renegades. They're playing like I, I believe they're playing back to back. What do they pay the Roughnecks? Uh huh. I don't know. I haven't looked at the whole. Schedule. I'm a I'm a, I'm a Houston Roughneck guy. I, I thought, thought you were going with the Renegades. I like them both, dude. The but Ren- I feel like the Renegades like have their logo. They do, but I like the Roughnecks logo too. Yeah, I like the name. I, I like Roughnecks. Like I like that name. It seems like a masculine name. You know, it's good for the show. Yeah, <laughs> Raider, Ra- Renegades is almost like they're stealing the Raiders. Um, it's got an R in it. True. I guess, Rough, I guess Roughnecks does too, though. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> it was my theory right out the window. <laughs> All done. <laughs> Nancy, how old are your kids? Uh, twenty three and twenty one. Shut up. Oh yeah, shout out two boys. They, Love them to death. Are babies, they babies? But boy, boys are boys. Are they even subscribers? No. 
Kyle, ask, well, yeah. Kyle set me up. My 21 year old set me up today. So he's the one who set this all up. So he's, he's going to listen later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out Kyle. Yeah. They listen. go to the gym. What about Cody? Yeah. yeah. Cody, I haven't, he, remember he moved out. So uh, I haven't. Sure, so okay. you, like you just communicated your family from him. You guys don't chat anymore. Really? Really? Oh, no, that's what I'm chat, saying, so. dude. So he should be listening. <laughs> no, I haven't well. got, he comes by once a week. I haven't got to talk to him. Give oh. me a minute, man. <laughs> So, Nancy, what's this competition you're doing? Ooh, good question. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, well, it's, you know, it's it's really stupid. So let's start. No, it's not. That. No, no, the whole premises of it is stupid, that these women damage their bodies for this stuff. That's what's stupid. But I'm doing it just to, because I'm 50 years old, and fuck it. Sorry, can we say that? I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, I say that all the time. Oh, okay, good. So, <laughs> you know, I just want to, I, I had a bad experience. So now I want to make this a good experience with it because these women put their bodies, they put so many drugs into them to get it that way yeah, on, stage, so did I, to, on stage <laughs> to make them look that way. And I'm trying to do it in a more natural and healthy way. Even though these women, even though these women will beat me, I can okay. still go on stage and go, no, you didn't because I did this naturally. Right on. But right. they're, gonna, they're gonna be all in their thirties, dude, and you're gonna be uh, yeah, 50, fifty. Yeah. Well, no, I'm gonna stay in my age bracket. I don't want to go. Yeah. Is there women? There's no women in your age bracket that compete with you, is there? For real? Yeah. There is. Yeah. Bullshit. I go to the gym every day. Yeah, they're there. I go. I go to the gym every day. Like, they're you're all not going shooting, at night. You but need they're to go, shooting but... up. They're shooting right. up. Like, uh, they got fake boobies. Right. They got. They shoot their faces up. Right. Well, they're like, all. It's all. You know. It's all the. It's all what they think is pretty. You know. You have to remember these girls. Some of these women are very narcissistic, and that's what they go. Some of on. them sell their bodies for sex. I'm not saying any names. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. It's not me. <laughs> Just that one first. Uh oh. I mean, <laughs> You know, there's girls that just they take it too far. You know, it's just it's all for that. So you what's can too, tell. Or you can what, tell what me. You, what do you think? What's the limit? What's the limit? Like uh, some right? guy, Is some guy killed his wife. He gave her too many. You know, he's he's a bodybuilder. She's a bodybuilder. He's giving her all the stuff to take. She has a heart attack and dies. So I mean, uh, do you fuck? think he? Do you think he did that to get another chick? No. And he his eye on. He's like, let me give this bitch double no, testosterone because he had his eye on someone else. Because yeah, that no, seems like something are. a lifter would do, like a pleasure well, bracket. Maybe in the back of his head he thought, oh, look at bonus. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I killed my wife with testosterone, dude. Perfect. Now I can get another one. That's, <laughs> gr- that's gr- that dude is grimy, dude. Like, I got to say that. But the most important thing is that, so you have on your little weights and pleasures, the most important people, the thing that they have to tell people is healthy. Stay healthy. You don't need all that crap. It's true. You're going to well, give yourself a heart attack. A heart attack. You take, you take, you supple, you take supplements, right? You take yeah. supplements, right? So what's the limit? Do you take, you take creatine? Right. Do you take uh, any kind of like... Um, what, what, do you, what do you take, Nancy? I take... What do you so take? I take? I take my... Oh, the lady. See, I call them different things because I have to... You, I, you remember, I'm 50 and I have MS. So I have to, my memory goes a little. So I take this, it's called HMB. Perfect. Which is like a, um, a recovery kind of for your muscles. So at, at, so your muscles don't eat themselves. Oh. Uh-huh. You know how it does that? So it stops, right. helps with that. And that's nothing. These are all I get at vitamin shop where I spend too much money, Cyrus. Um, <laughs> Does this dude that vitamin shop even listen to the show though? Uh, I don't know. Kyle works at vitamin shop. Oh, he, Kyle works at Vitamin Shop. He got, he's not passing out all of our stickers. No, but I can get him to now. Kyle? Wow. Yeah, they should, they Kyle? should be on the counter. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Kyle, why are you avoiding us like the Black Plague, son? We why have did, to... he, you tell, you, did you tell Edson why? What? Well, oh, you did tell him. Remember, the past shows go, listeners, if you listened. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I, know, I, I know he was the... like... When he I came to he the house, he called you the shady character that came to the house. Yeah. I know Remember, him, him and his girlfriend think I'm a criminal, right? Yeah. Or is that Cody's girlfriend? That's Cody's girlfriend. 
Cody's girlfriend is the one that let you in. Cody's girl. Hey, hey you forgot to remember the first time I came to their house? Is, uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't even let me in, dude. Like she was like, "Let me call and make sure." I'm like, "Dude, I wouldn't bring two. Kids. Like, you think I brought these little kids with me? They're gonna kill you or something?" They're like, <laughs> just thinking, "Did you bring your with you?" They're probably yeah, like, "Oh my god, bro, where did this guy get these little girls from?" Every, <laughs> but but, dude, like sometimes I get pulled over. Like when I get pulled over. They, like ask my kids, like, are you okay? And I'm like, what the fuck are you asking my kids if they're okay, dude? Like, they're my kids, fool. <laughs> Do you know my dad was picking up my kids at the bus stop one time and the cops pulled him over, went behind him and because they thought he was a pedophile. Wow. I'm oh. like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> dad, did you always grow up in Oregon? Are you no, from? No, I grew, I grew up in Bay Area. Oh, okay. Where yeah. at? Sunnydale. Dirty, oh, I was going to say Dirty San Francisco. No, I grew up in Sunnyvale. You guys want to talk about San Francisco a little bit? <laughs> I, I wouldn't go there if you uh, – there's no way I'd go there now. Dude, all, all the, <laughs> I'm going to start calling them all, all the sodomite homies on my Facebook, you know? <laughs> all the people who, like, who, who dabble in homosexuality. They're mad at me, dude, because I ask, dude, like, why do you guys, like, want to vac- get vaccines, right? Uh-huh. But then, like, you want to do anal sex. And I'm like <laughs> – I'm like – it's literally like washing your hands and then dipping them in shit before you eat. <laughs> like, I'm not anti-vaccine at all, dude. Get your vaccines. But, like, then don't – if you want to be healthy, dude, like, you don't go into a hole where it's all fucking diseases, dude. Right. And they're like, oh, fucking, we're, we're, like, better than you guys. We're better than the rest of the country. Dude, give me a break. And they're, like, the most pro-vaccine vaccine out of everybody. San Francisco, New York, LA, dude, they love vaccines, dude. If you look at like the per capita, uh huh. Like people in like Seattle though, though. It's weird. Like they're different types of liberals. Really? Yeah, people in Washington and like Oregon, they don't like vaccines as much. Like SF people love it, dude. Hmm. Like all the homies in the Bay, dude, they're so pro uh vaccination and pro anal sex. Mm-hmm. So I just I, <laughs> it's it's like like a lukewarm glass of like like milk, dude. Who wants like a lukewarm? Either heat that shit up, dude, or put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> right? Right. Like give me some of that milk <laughs> right from that cow's titty, nice and warm and beautiful, you know? Put it in the refrigerator. I don't want it like in between sitting on, on the counter, getting all rotten. Do sorry that. if it's a bad I'm I'm sorry if it's a bad analogy. <laughs> and if there's kids listening to this show, know that Uncle Cy loves you, dude, but he doesn't want you to do nasty things. Yeah. I don't want you to do naughty things. <laughs> we could be, we could be well, funny. To understand that it's also society, you know, the, the kids nowadays. That's what they. That's where they go to now because that's not having sex. Yeah, but it wasn't okay. When we grew up, it wasn't like that in San Francisco. I understand. I, I, I said somehow, we... somehow, it became the epicenter of stupid. Like right. the people are brilliant. They're actually brilliant. Like the 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 the. Inventors, the Silicon Valley, the uh, artistic community, but at the same time, they're just the party dumb. was starting, so it was like great. But you know, it's like these guys, it's all it's party's like, over, right? It's it's just it's all it's all <laughs> anal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm not understanding this. <laughs> this is coming from a lady, guys. Yeah. She doesn't like it either. And then there's some guy in the background is going, "Oh, she'd like it if she tried it." Oh, yeah, there is, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, definitely... you, so why don't you bend over and let me try? <laughs> yeah, and then when a, a Fed, when that guy found out that I wasn't with Nancy, we're like not a couple, we're just like the gym homies and like best friends, and like then he's trying to hit on her. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like. Then I'm like, dude, like, that's what my, like, like her husband's like my best friend, you know? I'm like, that's my best friend's lady, dude. I immediately go to like, dude, I'm going to like, I get mad, you know? Yeah. Like, how dare you? I talk to my homie's girl, dude. Like, what's up, bro? (laughs) No, but we also had this analogy yesterday too, or when that happened is that you, I don't get picked up on at the gym, I guess, because of you, but you get picked on because it's your, so it's like a women like that. Mm. Yeah. You know, because it's a, something yeah, I can't have. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you brought it up. The women at my gym are crazy about me, dude, and it's it's <laughs> it's kind of disgusting, right, Nancy? I, not disgusting. <laughs> like, this... like you ladies have no pride, dude. There's a bunch of guys that work out, dude. They have all their teeth, dude. They don't have like, 
They, don't, dude, they don't literally be. don't live with their mom, dude. Why would you guys want to be with me, dude? Like, <laughs> you got all your teeth, right? I, I know I do. I, <laughs> I like it. No, let him beat on himself for a little bit more. <laughs> I, I love, I, dude, I love to make fun of myself more than I me. know. <laughs> I'm addicted to it. Yeah. I think people think I feel sorry for myself, but I legitimately am one of the people that thinks it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Right, fan? I've, I've always been this way, right? you always been. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. There's a therapist crazy. listening now going, you know where it's coming from. It's stemming from. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about, so So we have a, a, a person who's becoming a doctor, okay? Mm-hmm. Shout out, shout out, Dr. V. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants us to say his name, but I think he'll be listening today because I told him Nancy was going to be on. Nice. But he comes up to me, dude, like, he's like not pro weed, you know? Oh, he's not? But he comes up to me and he's like, also, like, smoke weed. Like, he's like, do you think I should, like, smoke weed? Basically, like, his advice on smoking weed before it works out. I'm like, why would you start doing that, dude? I'm like, dude, you, you're going to be a doctor. I had to explain to him. I had to say, dude, like, stop, bro. Like, do not walk down the same road I do. Like, I question everything. I question all authority. I, like, you start, <laughs> like, I was like, dude, it's too much gravy. Why are you doing this? Like, <laughs> I, I, I highly, I highly advised him against. It. I was like, "Dude, you come here every day. You're in great shape." Like, you're Why was he even thinking about doing it? I, I really have no idea. Like, he's That's not going to get that much. Should ask. <laughs> he's not going to get that much fit. He's pretty fit, right, Nance? Oh yeah. Does he need to get any more fit? No, at I all. Don't... I don't no. know. I don't know the circumstances. I'm not gonna. I don't know why he asked. I don't. I have no idea. I think he asked for school, but also he wants to experiment for school. Maybe it's something he has to. He wanted to do for school. Yeah, he's trying to be like Sigmund Freud. I told him. I was like, dude, don't be oh. like that. That's like oh. the worst way to be. Right. It is. Yeah, I, I dude, I. Come on, Nance. We both smoke weed, but we kind of hate potheads. We're like, dude, like look at this. Stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Can't. laughs> <Can't. Can't. laughs> You got you can be a classy weed smoker. You know? Yeah, it's true. You don't, you don't, don't have want to, I don't want I mean, to incorporate it in his life, dude. I'm not let's 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 I'm the more classy. I'm not the one putting the joint out on my tongue, Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah, Fed, tell her, hey, feller, Fed, tell her about the, the, the Raider game back in the day when I, I was just life. thinking as soon as she said that, I was just thinking of that about the Raider game. <laughs> because at the time you couldn't uh, smoke in the parking lot, and the cops come OPD would walk around like, "Hey man, you can't smoke on here." He's like, "Really? I got my card." And he's like, "Let me see it." So, Cy went and showed him his card, and then he said, uh, "Well, you still can't smoke in all all Davis property." So I was like, "All right, cool." So he just stuck his tongue out, just burned it out right there. Just the cop looked at him like, "Damn, dude, like, what's the matter with you?" <laughs> Uh, he had never seen anything like that. He just like turned around and they walked away, dude. I was like, and I. I, I didn't want to like he's no what what happened was I was still smoking the joint and like he's like looking at me like dude you be respectful and, like put out the joint when you're talking to me right yeah. and then like I was like okay then yeah. I put it out on my tongue and he's like then he goes you can't smoke here at the Coliseum parking lot that's when I knew the Coliseum was shady I was like dude that's the the Raiders Coliseum people are awful dude oh they're bad they're horrible the cops what do you the mean security, There's, they they're not the fans. Hot. There used to be pot just flowing. Not there. before I was there, dude. Ask, Fe- I'm, dude, yeah. Fed, can you explain how? You I'm have to old? remember, I'm older than you guys, so. <laughs> right, but but like <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> but like I was, I was so out with it that I paid oh. the way for people to be out with it. Like, yeah. People will be like, dude, you're going to smoke oh, right yeah, here. Oh, yeah, because he Yeah, I'm going to smoke yeah. right here. And I would make it high when you get into the gym. I, so. I would literally make it a point to smoke everywhere that I wasn't supposed to, except church. Like, right when we go to the airport. Yeah, I'm smoking. You're going to be, you're going to bring weed on the, yes, I'm going to bring weed on the weed. <laughs> <laughs> Why would not I? Mean, yeah, not, yeah, it's legal, right? <laughs> like, well, not really. Well, dude, I'm medical. I'm sick. <laughs> but in my mind, so. Yeah, glaucoma. I, but in my mind, because I really went to a, the doctor really did give it to me without me asking. Okay. Mm-hmm. So in my mind, I'm really sick. And if they try to take it away from me, dude, I'm like, no, dude, I'm sick. And I, I, I believe in it. So that's where I always came from. And so like when I did that, it wasn't like, it was kind of to be cocky, but at the same time, that I always believed in weed for myself, not for everybody, but for me. Right. Right. And that's how people should respect other people who do it. I do it because I have MS and it helps manage my pain and everything. And people need to just back off when they're like, 
Oh, you're smoking pot. Yeah, okay. it, it, right. You're having that nice little glass of wine. Right. <laughs> right. And that's the thing that kills me. He's like, people don't, you know, they can go to the doctors and they can give you a pill and oh, that's, yeah. that's okay. You know what I mean? It's like, really? It's like, people need to get up. I, I figured by now, people were like having to conform to everybody's needs and everybody you got to believe in everything you know and be open arm for everybody that people now wouldn't even care but i guess you still have those people that that are you still have the judgy judgy yeah exactly not good i i as i get older like, like and as we do this show more one thing that i i tend to focus on is like since I know just from a small microcosm of like, okay, this is what helps me go to the gym. Some people can't do pre-workout. Some people can't do this. Like some people want to do steroids and not do this. It's whatever like gets you to go. Like, yeah. and that's the same thing in life, right? Like I hate to tie everything back into the gym, but it is a gym show. It's like, okay, well not everybody needs coffee to get them going, dude, but you don't diss the person who wants to drink a pot a day. If it helps get them going, you don't like, if it helps to be a better person and like, if steroids help somebody be a better person, fine. If the weed helps them be a better person, fine. Like the only thing I'm really against to it is stuff that, like, uh, in my opinion, like, it's detrimental to your health. And but there's, if like, it doesn't affect me, then I don't care what other people do. Everybody is worried about what everybody does. How's exactly. it affecting you? Exactly. Oh, oh, affect, oh, how oh, is it affecting you? For, I was talking about for me personally. Oh, okay. I like to talk. Sorry. No, but you're right, Nancy, about that. If it doesn't affect you, why people, and that's the thing, people care way too much about stuff that doesn't affect them. Right. You know? It doesn't, like, when people say, like, oh, how can you, I'm like, you don't trust people. I said, well, I don't give enough people my trust to have them break my trust. You know what I mean? Like, right. I don't I don't give people that, that there's a few amount of people that's it that I care about and I don't need to worry about, they don't need to worry about what I'm doing. Other people, it's like, they have no say in my life. Right, I just like care less. Gym. that's always been your. You, you've always been like that, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Fed, so. you like, dude, why do you want to be homies with these guys, dude? It's like you don't need any other homies. That was Fed's mentality all the time, dude. Like, yeah, <laughs> you don't need no other homies. Yeah, right, <laughs> because he probably is trying to save you from your stupidity all the time. See, and that's a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's but true he does friend. it. He does it in a different way, dude. He'll never say it with words. He says yeah. it with like, like. Hey, I'm gonna laugh at you when you get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then be like, it be like you know how stupid you looked. <laughs> oh, why didn't you tell me when I was doing it? Because I was too busy laughing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Slippery guy, bro. Mm -hmm. I am so juiced up. Hey, uh, what else are we going to, dude? I gotta put this all on my calendar. Well, are you go? You're going to spring training, right? Yeah, for sure. Show. Sure. All right, because I'm gonna fly down there. So the twenty second, I believe it is. All right, so we have four or five things to do. Yeah, whatever that Friday is. Yeah, it's coming up fast, man. Well, I think Lily's on spring break soon too. Oh, really? No, that won't be tomorrow. No. That won't be March. Till like, yeah, maybe March. the end of March. Yeah, end of March. Yeah, but I'm gonna plan on doing some stuff for the show then. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be cool. We need to do like, is it like a, your competition, Nancy? Is it gonna be like um? Also, like a like a I don't want to say a festival, but you know what I mean, like a little thing where people have booths and stuff. Uh, Ex expo. Like, yeah. No, like expo. they don't like, have that one. one. No. No. But we're gonna we're gonna try to get our press passes for that because all those people, dude, they love to try to be famous on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the thing. Oh, it's well, so, so they're gonna think, oh, can you get me in something? Can you do you know somebody? You guys. <laughs> oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. the thing, and they oh, want yeah. that. Oh, and I was yeah. I was doing research on, on getting press passes on things, and it basically just says you got to be persistent in your stuff. You just got to ask them. Yeah. You know, my brother, he had a YouTube, he has a YouTube page for boxing, and he just called Golden Boy Promotions. We need to link him out. We got to put his link up on our page. Yeah, and email them and just said, hey, I want kind of get a press pass, and he got press passes. And I was watching ESPN one day, and I was like. That was like my brother, and he's like standing <laughs> on top. He's like standing on the ring, you know. He's like ringside and like standing up there by the ropes. He's like, yeah, I just ask. And then so what I was looking at, people were like, you just gotta ask whoever's running the event, the organizer. Hey, can I get a press pass? And just keep asking until they give it to you. Because yeah, but I, like, and I don't even know the organizer's name. Oh, yeah, right. but for like, but like, we're you and I, dude, are literally jumping off, dude, trying to get something in Las Vegas where it's the most secure city in the world, and oh, yeah. people ripping off their casino. Yeah, so that's, that's a little hard. bit. No, it's not, dude. We just got to be persistent and show exactly. our track record. I mean, it is, but I mean, to jump in it right away for the NFL drafts can be one. It's like one of the biggest things of the year. 
you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a if we order. if we wear ducks stuff, dude. Justin Hubert will talk to us, dude, because ducks always take care of ducks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> said, I'm not even kidding. There was no funniness in that at all. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta. I gotta I'm, I'll, I'll bring you cash for the shirts. Oh, did, yeah. you get, did you order Nancy a shirt, dude? I totally forgot about Nancy. So that's all right. Uh, I think I ordered enough. Okay, Nancy, Nancy one. I think so. Okay. Yeah. What size are you, Nancy? Medium. I think so. I think we got a medium. You, you know what we also need? Hmm. We also need a uh, a big old banner, bro. That we I know. On tables and stuff. Yeah, a big old banner. I was thinking of like a pop up tent also. What about a what about a branding iron? That'd so because nice. like tattooing everybody would be hard, <laughs> but if we brand people with a W and a P, yeah, that's super easy, and I think some people would be down. Oh yeah, I think so. <laughs> I when I tell people, I don't see why I, not. When I, show, I, when I show them the sticker, right? Yeah, some people are generally thinking, "Oh, maybe I will tattoo this on me." It is pretty cool, actually. I like it. I, I showed Doctor V, dude, and he was like, I, in his eyes. The wheels were turning. Like, <laughs> if I do this, I know I'm gonna have two dudes that are down for me forever, dude. You know, <laughs> literally, like walk through fire. And, and he's already tatted up. He's like, it's just a tat, right? It's covered up. That'd be awesome. But, he's not. Yeah, no. But then it becomes. No, then if, they, if somebody gets it no like, desire oh, whatsoever. If somebody puts it on their arm, uh-huh. right? I'm gonna be like, oh, well, dude. I'm gonna need someone to put it on their cheek, like at their face, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sure we can find somebody that can do that. That would do that. You don't think Buddy wants to do it for like a hundred dollars on his face? Yeah, no, Buddy's he, Buddy's Buddy wouldn't put. He wouldn't do that on his face. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to see Buddy Man. <laughs> he's excited. He's like, I'm gonna be the. He when he said he said he was gonna be the giant compared to everybody. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. Hey, I can't hey! find a costume. I can't find a costume. We got to get Buddy a one of the uh, chicks from Midget Wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> What if we go to the midget wrestling, dude, and all the midgets are hot, dude? You know? We're like, damn, bud. And, like, they love him, bud, because he's the perfect height. Yeah. <laughs> Bud's going to be excited. Oh, if you guys don't know Buddy, Buddy's our little uh, little, little cousin. He's pretty, yeah. he's a little, pretty small guy. Yeah. I think he's, like, what? I don't even know how tall he is. He's, like, four something, I believe. I think he's four, four, four eight, four nine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's a legit. He's a he's a legit person. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> he is, and he walks around in his Chewbacca outfit all the time. Oh, we could get him to walk around in the Chewbacca outfit. Then that'd be dope, <laughs> right? That would be perfect. I think would they let him in? Could we? Since we have press passes, do you think we could have somebody dress like a Chewbacca, dressed up like Chewbacca with us? Yeah, I don't see why not. Hopefully, when Gabe sees all the wrestlers, he wants to be a wrestler. You think so? I don't think so. He's got the dude. He's got the height. Yeah, but I don't think he would want to be. I don't know, man. He, uh, no, I doubt it. I, well, I could tell right now that he wants to lift. He just doesn't want to admit it to us, dude. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it. His excuses that I go to early. That's why. So he wants to blame it on his dad. Yes. <laughs> oh, speaking of parents, dude, guess who blocked me on Facebook? Who? My own mother, dude. She blocked you? Oh, yeah. And she's like, I was going to go to the grocery store for her uh-huh. because, you know, it's like getting older. So I was going to go to the grocery store for her before I left. And she's like, I sent you a list. She's like, she's like, uh, I don't know why you didn't get it. And I'm like, dude, she's like, oh, maybe because I blocked you. <laughs> I'm like, you blocked your own son? <laughs> yeah. So that tells you what you're working with over here, dude. Why did she block you? <laughs> oh, they hate me, dude. She just uh, gave you. She just yeah. Bro, the, I, I come on, man. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, dude, including my parents. <laughs> See ya. I don't. I don't blame her, dude. I don't blame her. I give her a hard time, dude. Wow. <laughs> it's probably has something to do with the fact that I uh, I've been so very out. I've been very dude. I've been almost triply outspoken lately. Ah, uh, she thinks now because we have a show that you know. No, not necessarily that. Like worse now, it's more. No, dude, not necessarily that. It's because I I ladle gravy, dude, on dry biscuits, and people <laughs> want me to like hold back and not say anything. I'm like, dude, this is bullshit. Like, at any time, 
I guess it might be seen as being kind of a dick, mm-hmm. which is fine. But I, I, I like what I do, dude. Is kind, I'm kind of a, I talk a lot of shit, and you know that. But but, but lately, I've been on a big shit talking game. Oh man, and she doesn't. But like not, that. but not like mean, not like mean. Not but you've mean. always been that way. So what's the difference? What's new? Well. Oh, fuck, dude. They're getting 70 years old, dude. They don't want to hear me talk shit still. They're just done. They, People maybe thought I would grow up. Maybe they're mad like, oh, they're just still like, living there now, dude. Right. They're like, oh, his house burned down. But, right. but, yeah. no, you know what? They, they, uh, they definitely want me here, dude, because, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure the kid, the kid, yeah, of course. Kids always do it, man. The kids, <laughs> yeah, of course they do. But I'm so happy. I, but if I if I died and the kids just stayed, I think they'd be a lot happier. Let's just say. That. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it would be hella happy if I died. My sister, dude, she'd be so happy because she'd be like, "I get all of the money," and she'd rub her little heads together like, "What's that, dude? Uh, uh, Scrooge, Scrooge." You know how Scrooge wrapped his hands together in the movies? Like, I'm going to get all the money. <laughs> I hate him so much. You could see Tammy being super happy, right? I could see Tammy being really happy about that. Right, like having her, like, a, like pretending to be sad, like wearing like a black dress with a veil, but like going home and like, she's like blasting, celebration time, come on. And then at your, yeah, exactly. Like at your funeral, she's like, "This is what I would want," you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I would want you to give me all the money and not take care of his kids, Dad. <laughs> so I would want his kids in an orphanage. Trust me, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh! You know she didn't give my kids any uh, Christmas presents. You're kidding me. No, what is this? Dude, I told you this. She's like the character from Despicable Me, bro. She literally. Hates my essence, my being. <laughs> She's the reason I have this type of attitude, dude. Is because like, I got I would be left home with her all day, you know, with the most hateful person, and I had to watch my own back, dude. you know. We have to watch your own back from your sister. Oh, how, yeah. how, how irrational that makes you. You have a great <laughs> sister. Yeah. You I know, do. I have Sarah and Nancy now. I don't need a sister, and I have Sissy. Mm-hmm. I don't really need my sister, dude. To be honest. Yeah, Damn. I wish I had her in my life, and she would change her heart, and become a good person. But <laughs> I stopped. I stopped wishing for that a long time ago. I ain't wasted any more wishes on that girl. <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> the genie's dry, man. Yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> the 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 lamp has a hole in it. I rubbed it so much. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Poor me, right? Yeah. But. Whatever, I'm sure. I'm sure she'll have something to say, dude. Like, don't tag that man on the show. I'm gonna sue you, <laughs> you asshole. You know she's got these sugar gliders now. These little shit. Oh god, don't even give me. Why did we start talking about this, bro? <laughs> you did. <laughs> you know what sugar gliders are, dude? She no. literally has pet raccoons now. She's is that so, what those are? Yeah, she is so hood. <laughs> she has like pet raccoons now, and like she brings them over to the house like in a pouch. Mm-hmm. Like, she brings them. Out of the that's it. Let me tell you again. She brings them <laughs> out of the house in a pouch, like they're <laughs> like she's a dragon queen <laughs> or something. So like she has a pit bull in one hand, so she's got the pit bulls like in her left. Uh-huh. Right? And then she's got like the little dog, like the little like uh, flea market dog. Yeah, and like the ones you can like let roam around the flea market. <laughs> yeah, take them. You know, like yeah, yeah. yeah. half chihuahua, dude, half yeah. dachshund, like. <laughs> Literally a Mexican dog. Yeah, exactly. I was just gonna say a little Mexican dog. <laughs> like if a Hispanic person had to guess which dog the other Hispanic person has, that's the dog, the other dog. And right. and, and then like two pouches, right? Like superhero pouches, but in the pouches, mm-hmm. like she's not Catwoman. There's little like furry raccoons. I was like, was like, what the hell are those? I saw it on is, Facebook. This is Tammy, dude. The person who hates <laughs> animals. Remember our, in our life, dude, Tammy hated animals? Why did she get them? Oh, God. I don't even get it. I don't get into it with her, dude. Because <laughs> I'll be like, so you got, so you, she got them for free, Fed. Uh-huh. Okay. Here's the truth. As I do know. She got them for free. So 
of course, when something free comes up, immediately they're like, oh, it's free, so I need it. Yeah, but what about the pit bull? In her head, what about the pit bull? No, with the those sugar gliders, that's like lunch. To her, a pit the pit bull is harmless. No, but those they rec they don't recommend those sugar gliders with dogs. No, 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 no. She knows better oh. than everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just gonna ask that too. What's up with the pit, <laughs> dude? Like, you know, you're just teasing it. You're just teasing it. <laughs> she got a pit bull, dude, because I told her pit bulls are the worst animals, dude. And she saw me have so many problems with mine, and she loves problems, right? So. Oh. Got when, when I had a, I had a whole. I ask Anson about this pit bull that I had. He was good in some ways, and I kept him because I'm loyal to my dogs, mm-hmm. extremely loyal to my animals. But yep. he would tear up every animal, every cat, my hand, dog. <laughs> he would. He he was a marauder, yeah. and I'm like, as, I, ever since him, I swore pit bulls off. I'm like, I'm never gonna have a pit bull again. I could trust him around my children for yeah. sure. He was really yeah, good. Sure. I remember bringing Daniel over there to your spot when you had that your loft in Oakland, and Daniel would crawl into the cage room. Yeah, he loved kids. Kids are not a problem, or yeah. he never yeah. even showed aggression towards yeah. a human being, unless it was somebody messing with me. But I, Tammy got his sister, and that dog Justice killed about five other animals. Dude. Yeah. So between the two of them, there was about thirteen dog attacks between a two a litter of one dog between these two dogs. Yeah. She had to put this pit bull down. It was so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not good. No, no, no. But th- that's that's why she had to get another one because it was no. a, it's, they're problems. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> makes she, sense. Total dude. It's, <laughs> I, I speak fluent Tammy. Yeah. I speak it fluently. Nobody gets her like I get her. You know, like and I know exactly what she's doing, and I've tried to fix her and like, like just like other people fix try to fix their sisters too. But unfortunately, guys, you they can't all be like Nancy. They all oh, can't no. Be. If my brothers were here, they'd, be, they'd tell you. Yeah. yeah <laughs> they can't be like Sarah. Sometimes they have major malfunctions, dude. Well, sometimes the brothers you... put us in major malfunctions. You guys have to talk about that. <laughs> I got to say, I got to say, I wish I had a brother like me. Oh, so do I. Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> no. I just say I always had my sister's back. 100%. Yeah. But it's never. I feel that like you still do. I, I st- of course I still do. Yeah, but she, for some reason, no matter how much reason. she fakes it, for no matter how much she fakes it, she hates the essence of my soul. Yeah, because you probably harass the shit out of her. I'm not an angel. Okay. <laughs> I, I dude, and if she look, guys, I'm an alpha male. I could care less if my sister doesn't like me. I love her like she's my sister. I could care less. Right. Like, if so, like you know, there's it's like some people on the internet, and I know they don't like white people. I don't really like Persian people. I don't care. Like I still listen to them, dude. Like I don't have to have people like me. Right. I've never people like that's a that's a feminine quality, a, a feminine thing, dude. Where like a man thinks like you have to like. There's plenty of men that I don't like that I like because I don't like them. We wind up getting along pretty well. That's true. Right? Usually how it works. Yep. Usually how it works. Yeah, I don't have to have that. It's like the more people I was talking about your sister, you went farther with it. <laughs> he did uh he did. <laughs> reel me back in, just smoke weed. You gotta reel me back in. <laughs> like reel you back. Okay, come back, come back. <laughs> hey, you know what, Nance? I'm gonna take all those supplements and I'm gonna make a supplement tree, dude. And then a give it away. Supplement tree? Yeah. It's like a supplement bouquet of flowers. Oh. I can get you, you more. Better- yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're, 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 we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna give it away at, at your thing. I'll make it. You want me to put a thing together today so you can take it? When are you leaving? What time? Early in the morning? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably hit the gym like five a.m. tomorrow and be on the road by like eight. What Smart. time? Is the, what time Smart. is the wrestling? Uh, they're at eight. Eight tomorrow night. Eight tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. And are we gonna do anything else, dude? Tomorrow night? Are we gonna try to catch up like a Sac State basketball game? Anything like that? Ooh, I don't know. Well, I mean, we can either go to Major Wrestling or Sarah can get us tickets, a discount of tickets for the, I think the the Heat are in town. Tomorrow? I believe so. Oh, dude. Dude. I believe C- so. Come on, dude. That's, that's the okay. best way. You know, what do you want? you rather go to Major Wrestling? Because I think no, the well, tickets are only like I'd, 20 bucks. I'd rather go to the Sacramento game. 
Uh-huh. Right? And bet while I'm at the game because then I'm ahead of the book. <laughs> True that. Yeah, no. So, yeah, the Heat are in town tomorrow. Oh, what time do they start? 7.30, Seven. right? 7. And Major Wrestling starts at 8? Eight? 8. Fuck. Yeah. Why do all the good things have to be on the same day? Major Wrestling is always here, dude. I mean, they're always coming around. There's another show. That they're having another show like in March, and then there's another one in April. Then let's go to yeah, let's go uh, to the Heat game. It's always going to be there. I'll have Sarah look at the tickets and see uh, how much she can what the discount is. I'm done. Oh, there went those press passes. What? No, 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 no. Oh, that's, okay. for, that's for Saturday. <laughs> that's for the Saturday. Oh, okay. The Saturday okay. one I still got. I got. Oh, okay. Like, the major wrestling never got back to us. Yeah, the major wrestling dude is oh, like they're, okay. they're busy. They're yeah. They're international. Yeah. Yeah. They they, bring, <laughs> they got the finest images from all over the world. Mm-hmm. Like they're not going to get back to us fast at all. No. no. <laughs> not at all. Are you gambling at all today, Fed? Probably not. Oh, really? I haven't even looked. Honestly, I haven't even looked today. Oh, because everybody on our betting forum is talking about the um, Laker game and the Buck game. That no, the Bucks should definitely win. The Seventy Sixers are horrible. Horrible. Lakers, Lakers are going to smash too because they did the Rockets just straight away. Clint Capella, dude. That's uh, that's the only rim protector they got. How dumb is that? They're, they're so stupid. They're such a dumb team. So, yeah, no one's going to be able to stop that. Warriors are so smart, though, dude. Now they have all these draft picks. A lot. A lot. Dude, they picked up Wiggins, dude. He's a, he's a baby, dude. We were just talking about him, too, yesterday, remember? Yeah, I was like, he's a baby. Mm-hmm. We were just talking about him. He'll fit in perfectly with uh, with Curry. Yeah, he's a good person too, huh? Yeah, Wiggins yeah. Is a better, he's a better person than D'Lo. Yeah, D'Lo was a little punk. I never liked that guy. Yeah, he's a snitch. Yeah, he is a snitch. Oh, did you see Forty Water and uh, Rich, Richie Rich? Yeah. yeah, yeah, they made up, man. Good for them. Yeah, well, <laughs> Forty said it was he wasn't calling him like a street snitch. He was making a joke about the like that that he was in a video with a Raider jersey. That's it. Yeah, that's all it was. He was making fun of them, like, oh, you know, you were in the nine, you know, all about the Niners, but here you are with the Raider jacket. Yeah, Forty was like, dude, I thought you knew I was kidding. Yeah, I mean, you know, Forty's always been representing the Bay, no matter what. But, but Richie's about that life, though, dude. He's yeah, like, he wasn't oh. playing. <laughs> he was not playing. He's like, do you know you can get me like Richie's like, dude, you know you can get me killed by calling me a snitch, dude. Yeah, for real. Rich, he's like, Richie's ah. really in them streets, dude. He's really on them bikes, dude. I'm, yeah, I've seen him. No, he is. He's out there. He's still out there, you know? He was Bro. not He was not messing around. He hangs out with those big boys, too, dude. Yep, he was not messing around. You know, people I don't even want to talk about their club on my shit. Yeah. Uh, um, all right, dudes. This all was right. A, hey, I liked having Nancy. That was awesome, dude. Yeah, that, that was, was fun. fun. Yeah. I'm glad We're you liked have, it. But you yeah. guys have to have your own time, too, because I like listening to just you guys, too. <laughs> Right on. Yeah, I and mean, more people need to listen because. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's how we're getting very started. educational. We got to hit the streets. Yeah, Fed and I were literally honing our craft this last year. Like, we don't do anything if it's not going to be good, and we weren't really that proud of how what we're doing. Our nephew, my nephew Gabe, was his was not happy with audio quality. Really, like, I got to still get a microphone. Like, yeah. I gotta, you guys, if anybody's it listening. It sounds much better than it started in the beginning. It was bad in the beginning, right? Right. It was really yeah. bad. <laughs> it has to do something with the speed, I guess. But oh. yeah, it's so, it's so much better now. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I wonder why. I don't know. But we gotta figure out a way to fundraise for the show and like not rob our families of funds. Because yeah. we wanna keep on pushing this and growing. So that's what we're looking for. So if anybody has any ideas, they get sponsored. Or... Mm hmm. Who's gonna sponsor somebody, dude? We have a very guys. We have a very weird platform. Like for one, like we're saved, but we talk a lot of shit. Yeah, <laughs> that in itself is like hard to find people who are like not hey, good. We at just grade. speak facts. You know, people great. can't handle facts. True. <laughs> True. We, we're spa- we, we carry a spatula, dude. And we flip yeah. things on their heads. <laughs> right. Like we flip your pancake. Yes. So, <laughs> But we're here to spot people. Like, we're here for you guys. If you guys, like Fed said, dude, from the very beginning, if you guys need us, you guys need advice, we might talk about it on the show. Probably not. But if you guys need, you guys can always email us, Facebook us. Like, like we're, he- we're actually here for the people that listen. Yep. If you guys want to come out to SAC, 
Come on out. All yeah. right, my guys and my gal. All right. Okay. We will spot you later. Later. Later.